we're looking at poltergeist activity. Whoa! Whoa! Jeez, he's behind I've got us. It. I've got it. You got him? <laughs> I've not got him, I've just got the thing moving. He just oh come be he come behind me and he knocked. Shit. Sh he, he come right at my side here. And he, he, he put, I come away and he leant back on that and then we'll come just, back again. Just let me check this for a He come from this direction. Right. And I'm standing here and I felt this brush against me and I pulled back and then the next minute he pushed back against that. And I felt as if he was in physical presence. Mm -hmm. Like as if it was so tangible, he, he's in his spirit body, but he's got the power to press past you in his physical presence. It's me, it's me, it's me, it's me. Can I, can I, can I suggest something? Ooh. Hear that drum? Everyone be quiet now. Yeah. He's sitting there. There's anybody in here, please, can you do something again? Please, can you give us another sign to show us that you're in here? Please, if you can hear my voice, please do something, anything at all, so we know you're still around. Please try and move something, anything at all. We know you're here. Okay, there again. And again. Keep going, please. If you want us to leave, please do something more. Please do something, anything at all. Some more, please. We need to know that you are listening to my voice. If you can hear me, do something now. Another book. More books. More books have just come off the shelf. Was that, was that, was that drum there? there? Oh, the drum, the drum. No, yeah. It was. Yeah. Just from a different oh, that freaked me, though. So that's, that looks like it's come off there. This look, well. Yeah. And that drum's knocking again. With so much happening in the attic room, we decided to conduct a seance with both mediums, Ian and Derek. Nothing seemed to be happening for a while until Derek started to shake. It's okay, talk to us. <laughs> Talk to us. It's okay, it's everyone, it's okay, everyone. It's okay, everyone. Just it's okay, they're using. Derek is a channel. It's okay, friend, come and talk. Try and communicate to us. Who are you? We're here to talk to you, friend. Leave you? No, we won't leave you. No. <laughs> you don't scare me. No, you don't scare me. You sit down now. Sit down now. It was at this point that Ian helped Derek and brought him round. This process took 15 minutes. It was only after that Derek told me he'd been possessed by the spirit of Daniel. This has been a first for certain members of the crew, as they had never seen Derek possessed before, and they certainly were not about to forget it. 
I, on the other hand, had turned a corner and had surprised myself by standing up to someone who was possessed by a so-called evil entity. I don't know what to believe at all. All I know is that secretly, I was scared to death. Alpa Manor was an interesting place that surprised us all. All the areas of the house that were known to have paranormal activity were monitored constantly, and nothing out of the ordinary occurred. However, paranormal activity did take place in the attic room. Books came off the shelves, noises were heard, and the family dog became agitated. So what did the crew think of our night at Alpa Manor? And would they ever forget it? I knew it was haunted, but unfortunately, there wasn't a camera in the room where things kicked off. But didn't they just? Um, I mean, some really good poltergeist activity taking place, books being thrown at people. Um, great amount of excitement. I feel Alpen Manor is haunted, quite haunted, um, by a number of spirit people. Best part being um, benevolent souls that, you know, found themselves leaving the physical body in their time and then coming back here in visitation. Um, but there was just one level within all that residual levels that, just, well, it didn't seem to fit. Derek came up with one or two rather interesting facts. Um, he came up with, uh, must admit, Margaret of Anjou um, and her son. But uh, I found it rather strange because if she was apparently talking to him, as it seemed as if she was, um, I don't understand why she managed to tell him a name wrong because, of course, he kept saying Anjou and, of course, it was Margaret of Anjou. How do I pronounce that? Margaret, it sounds like Margaret and Anjou. Mm -hmm. Anjou. Yeah. I was quite pleased, to be honest with you. We've got quite a lot of footage. Um, lots of things happen that we can't really explain. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to going over the tapes. I've enjoyed the place. It's been amazing. And it's been a great privilege as well to, to come and see such an incredible Cotswold Manor House with such good ghost stories. Possibly the most impressive part of this investigation uh, are the books that uh, seem to be flying off bookshelves and actually hitting members of the crew. Now, whilst the footage itself doesn't rule out the possibility that someone may have thrown the books, we are left with the testimony of the people who were there at the time, the crew. All the crew maintain that nobody actually threw the books, uh, and there's no reason why we shouldn't believe them. I bet you someone. Another possible explanation would be the books uh, were just teaching on the edge of the shelf and just fell off on their own. When you look at the books on the bookshelves, they seem to be quite tightly packed. So again, that doesn't seem to be a likely explanation either. So what we're left with is perhaps some of the best footage that exists of this kind of phenomena. Whether it's paranormal, I'm not sure. But I definitely think it's worthy of further investigation. We were all terrified, confused and upset at what we had all witnessed during our investigation. Had we really experienced something supernatural at Alpa Manor? What do you think? Until the next time, sleep tight. The best of Most Haunted Series 1 and Most Haunted Series 2 Volume 1 are available in stores now on DVD and at livingtv.co.uk forward slash shop.